Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And in today's problem, we'll go ahead and find the centroid of the shaded region. And also we'll go ahead and calculate the moment of inertia with respect to centroidal set of axis parallel to x and y axis. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna have to fill up this table in order to find the centroid's location. Now guys, one thing that I need to tell you, the coordinate axis is absolutely fixed. You cannot change that. And based on this coordinate axis, you will have the, the coordinates for, for the final location of centroid, that is this G. Okay, so we have to essentially deal with two right angle triangles. One is this bigger one. Let, let me hover my mouse. This is the bigger right angle triangle. And while the other one is this one, smaller one. Let's say this over here. Okay, we can, we can actually make them in a proper sense like this. This is a bigger right angle triangle. Now, as far as this right angle triangle is concerned, it is having this base as 6 plus 3, that is 9. And this over here as 6. Let's call this as 1. And there is another right angle triangle, okay, which we will be subtracting this one, which we will be subtracting this one. This is having the same height, but the base is going to be slightly different. This is having a base of 3. That's 3 and that's 6. So, this 1 minus 2 is going to give you the centroid as well as the moment of inertia of this shaded blue colored region. That's it. Okay, so how can we approach this? Now guys, one thing which I need to tell you and which is extremely important is this. It, this centroid, individual centroid I am saying, let's say G1 is going to be somewhere here. And you know very well that the centroid for any right angle triangle like this, I can make it over here, is over here. And the coordinates are of this point are b by 3 comma h by 3 where b represents the base that is 9 h represents the height that is 6. So well obviously this g1 is going to have its coordinates in the form of 9 over 3 that is 3 and 6 over 3 that is 2. Okay so that's done. What about this? Let's say the centroid of this figure 2 geometry 2 is somewhere here. Let's call this as g2. Okay so 3 by 3 is going to be 1 and 6 by 3 is going to be 2. Okay. Okay. But watch here carefully. Over here, over here, we assumed that the, that the coordinate axis was here. Okay. But the coordinate axis location is slightly, slightly different. So if you take a closer look from here, if we take how much steps? 3 steps from this right angle. From this right angle, the distance is how much? 3 steps. So if you take 3 steps, if you take 3 steps, the location of the centroid is going to be, let me, let me use a red color. The location of the centroid is going to be somewhere here. Let's call this as G1. Okay. And that here, here, the X coordinate was 3, but here the X coordinate is going to be 0. You can work it out because if you have taken 3 steps, then obviously here the X coordinate will be 0. Y coordinate is going to be remain same. Okay. That is 2. Again, again, I would like to tell you. Here the assessment of this coordinate has been made with respect to this x and this y. But the x and y are slightly different based on the problem. Okay. So that's it. And what about this 1 comma 2? Well, if you watch carefully, this is 1, this is 1 and that's 2. It's, it's going to be somewhere here. Let me try to make this somewhere here. This distance is 1 and this distance is 2. Let's call this as G2 and the coordinates of G2 is from here, from here. How many steps? 1, 2. This is 1. So 3 minus 1 is going to be 2, but it is over to the negative side. So you have to write minus 2 over here. What about the value of y? Well, value of y is going to be 2. So that's it. That's it. Now let me put up all these values. x1 and y1. x1 is 0, y1 is 2, x2 is, well, it's minus 2, y2 is, again, this is um, 2, area 1, half of base into height, 6 into 9 is 54, 54 over 2 is 27, well, this is going to be in centimeter square, and 6, 3 is 18, 18 over 2 is, well, 9, so 27 and 9. Let me check whether all the values are correct or not, 0 minus 2, 2, 2, and 27 and 9, that's it. We are going in the right direction. Okay, and finally, you've got to use this formula, fellows. 
and on putting all these values over to this expression the final value of the x and y coordinate of the centroid with respect to this coordinate axis r let me check it's going to be equal to 1 and this is going to be equal to 2 so the coordinates of g is 1 comma 2 that's it so the centroid has been calculated successfully now let us go ahead and find the moi of the shaded region and here we go now this is what you need to do you have to put a negative sign because we are subtracting this smaller right angle triangle from this larger one that's it that's the only reason now let me write this in a better way this is what you call the parallel axis theorem and and we have applied it okay and you know very well if this is b and this is h and let's say this is centroidal x and this is centroidal y then it's i x x is going to be equal to b h cube over 36 and i y y this is x x right and this is y y i y y is also going to be equal to rather invert this it's also going to be equal to h b cube over 36 well that's it right and this is something that we're going to be applying so right now we are concerned with geometry one and geometry one corresponds to the bigger right angle triangle so the base is nine height is six nine dot six cube over 36 plus the area area is 27 y1 y1's value is 2 2 minus y bar y bar is 2 and that's it square you can clearly see that this is essentially the vertical distance between the two centroids that is the main centroid g and the centroid of geometry one both of them are at the same level which essentially indicates that there is not going to be any vertical distance you can clearly see that and you just have to solve this and let me check how much the final value works out as well it's 54 centimeter square done let us worry about geometry 2 here we go and let me apply the parallel axis theorem okay this is ig 2x okay base 3 height is 6 so it's going to be 3 into 6 cube over 36 plus area 2 is 9 and again y2 minus y bar is there any vertical distance between this g2 and this g no okay it's it's a zero and you can verify that y2 minus y bar 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 and that's square and when you punch in all the values on a calculator the final value that you're going to get is let me check it's 18 centimeter raised to 4 and the final value i x x is going to be equal to is going to be equal to well 36 centimeter raised to 4 why because this minus this 54 minus 18 will give you 36 and guys what we are essentially doing right now is let, let me let me go ahead and show you this if i can just make a horizontal line through g this is capital x this is capital x and let me make a vertical line through this g this is capital Y, this is capital Y. Right now, we are interested in calculating the moment of inertia of this shaded region with respect to this centroidal XX and this centroidal YY. So, we have achieved this moment of inertia with respect to centroidal XX. Now, we need to go ahead and find the MOI with respect to centroidal YY. Okay, so let's see how this can be accomplished. So, let me write this again. And basically, what you need to do is over here, you need to invert this 6 into 9 cube. 6 into 9 cube over 36 and the area is obviously 27 x1 minus x bar well what's x1 x1 is 0 minus x bar x bar is 1 okay so it's going to be 0 minus 1 and that's square Fun done so punch in all the values and the final value that you're going to get is 148.5 148.5 centimeter raised to 4 all right done Let's talk about this second geometry. This is smaller one. So it's going to be HB cube, 6 into 3 cube. Okay, invert this. 6 into 3 cube. 6 into 3 cube over 36 plus the area. Well, the area is uh, it's 9. And X2, X2 is how much? Well, it's minus 2 minus X1, uh, rather X bar. It's 1 and it's a square. So that's done. Punch in all the values and this is what you're going to get 
0.5 centimeter raised to 4 so that's done so you just need to subtract these two moment of inertias okay of individual right angle triangles and this is what you're going to get 63 centimeters raised to the power 4 so guys that was all from my side for today i'll see you again and thanks for watching